th there is a difference. There is a difference between painting and coloring in. And of course, this is where it all begins for us. We all remember the coloring books of our youth. So you have a very strong black line around everything and you color it in, don't you? And you get, you get, um, you get praise from your parents and your teachers for not going over the lines. I remember that. I remember getting praise for not going over the lines because it's all about hand-eye coordination. It's all about dexterity, isn't it? It's all about being able to be precise. There is, there's a reason for that, you know, and that's a very, very good thing, I think, that, you know, to be able to, to, uh, to do that, to be able to uh, control your movements in that way. Of course, it's commendable. Of course, you're going to give your little ones a pat on the head for doing it if they can control a pencil or, or, or a pen. Um, but that doesn't help you that much when it comes to imbuing your work with life, when it comes to putting energy on the paper, when it comes to uh, uh, developing an expressive mark-making technique. That doesn't help you at all. I'm going to wash this off just one more time to try and just get a few more textures in there. Then I'll put some colour on. Oh, I can't put too much 
Deadhead Red. There we are. Deadhead Red. Those of you who um, came to my second, or was it third, Art Your Week may remember Edward Hopper. All he wanted to do, he said, was to paint sunlight on a bare wall. That's all he wanted to do. Just, just that. Because he, he just loved that. You know, when he saw that, it made him want to paint. And I think the thing is, you know, when I look at this, when I look at when I look at that shadow there, I just want to do it. You know, I want I want to see that on a on a piece of paper. I find that so satisfying. That transition from um, from dark from dark to light. 